what is up guys Dave here um, today I'm bringing you a video I've got a slightly new upgrade here we've got the um, Thule uh, what is it called it's the um, pack and pedal um, rack and it's mountable to the front or rear of bikes um, on the Suron, obviously, the only place you're going to be able to mount it, I believe, you might be able to mount it in the rear, I haven't tried, um, is on the front forks. But as you guys can see, it actually mounts up really nice. It fits really good. Um, really quick and easy install. There's just four ratchet straps, two on each side, that attach to the lower portion of your forks. And um, I've got still the stock front tire here, if you guys can see that. But I've got um, about a quarter inch on each side of clearance on that uh, on that tire, so you guys might be able to fit a uh, what is it? A, I think I think the rear that we have on here is a 2.75 inch. I didn't. I should have sat it on there to see if it would clear that, um, but I didn't. Maybe I'll do that for for you guys in the future. But if you're running a stock front tire or a um, two and a half inch tire, it should should clear. Uh, fairly easy um, larger than that I don't know it, it'll kind of depend on the tire so um, but it it kind of looks good I think um, I you know some people may not like the looks of it I think it looks pretty good um, seems to be pretty sturdy um, it's got some attachments that you can add to put um, um, panniers on there um, and run those if you want um, I'm actually going to put use it to put a milk crate on when I want to go do some grocery shopping or some shopping around town so um, yeah that's that's uh, that's the addition we have today um, you can see all the other additions on there um, really happy I know I talked about the Kanawaba kit but I'm really happy with those cranks that I got um, those are the sunlight um, unicycle four inch cranks and I think you can find them on Amazon and eBay I got mine on eBay um, I got the um, the silver chrome finish um, I think on Amazon you can get the black finish um, so if you're looking for a little bit of a shorter crank um, to, for your Suron uh, Kanawaba kit um, I'd recommend those. They're they're so far holding up really well. Um, so today we're just going to go with a ride for a ride. I'm um, kind of test out how these uh, the rack holds up on the front here, and uh, we'll start to load that down with gear over time and see how it holds up with gear on it. But um, for today, I just got it installed and and we'll take a quick ride here. beautiful day here today in Kansas we've had a lot of overcast weather the last uh, last week or so so um, along with rain and so and cold as well and so it's been uh, less fun getting out and riding I've just been doing some really quick rides um, so I don't get bored but today I thought we'd take a uh, take a ride here and test out the uh, the Thule pack and pedal so I uh, I like the look of it I don't actually run a front fender um, where was I gonna go I can't remember I was looking for I found a new trail over here the other day but now off the top of my head I can't must have been over at the other bridge we'll ride over there in a minute um, I wanted a I wanted a rack for for cargo and uh, this seemed to be one of the best options I could find for a front rack that would fit a full suspension bike um, and I just went ahead and took a chance and ordered it and it's fit well um, I don't run a front fender so I also figured this would help a little bit to keep some of the water out of my face um, the water and the mud out of my face when riding in in wet conditions so we'll have to test that out and see how that actually works, whether it actually works or, or it's just a uh, just something that I thought would work and actually doesn't. So I know a lot of people are running some um, trailers and things of that nature.
Um, and I may get a, uh, I may get one in the future. I haven't decided yet, but right now, um, I wanted the, I wanted the front rack just so I could, I could snag some little, little groceries and things like that when I run up to the store. So. I think it looks pretty good. Um, it's a little bit spendy. I think it was 120 bucks off of Amazon. You might be able to find it cheaper if you really look around, I'm not sure. Um, but uh, that's what I paid for it. I ordered it on Amazon and it shipped next day to me. So um, if you're looking for a rack, this may be a good option for you. Um, I think it looks good. I wish it was all black and not didn't have the silver accents. I may paint that in the future to kind of match the blacked out look of my bike. Um, but uh, it doesn't look bad. Um, it definitely looks like it's all right. Ooh, look at they. Uh, so they're building a house here in my normal route. And uh, so I can't really cut through this field anymore. They sold off these lots. They used to be attached to this park. I don't know what happened, whether they were always lots or, or what, but um, on the map it shows them as part of the park. And so uh, I'm not sure, I'm not sure what's going on there, but um, the parks, this section here looks like it's still gonna stick around. So I shouldn't lose this section anytime soon. I really appreciate uh, people that have been watching my videos. Um, you guys are awesome. All the support is really great. The comments are awesome. I love answering the comments and and uh, and uh, seeing what you guys have to say. Um, if you guys uh, haven't subscribed, I'd, I'd urge you to please consider doing that. Um, it really helps us content creators. Um, and uh, I know it, it seems like a small deal if you're just watching YouTube and you're not creating content, but for us content creators, it really does make a big deal. So um, it uh, helps us in the algorithms and all that kind of stuff. So um, if you would, please consider subscribing. Um, if you like this video, go ahead and hit that like button and uh, we'll bring you more content in the future. Today we're just gonna go for a quick jammy jam here through the cemetery. And uh, yeah, I, so far there doesn't seem to be any, um, any issues with the rack. We'll have to get some weight on there. I think the weight limit, it says 25 pounds, but I've read some people have loaded it down up to 40 or 50 pounds, no problem. Um, I don't expect to have that much weight on the front, so I'm just gonna put a, um, I likely just, most of the time when I use it, I'll put a uh, milk crate on there and uh, I'll use it as a basket to haul, haul groceries or, or little items. Um, I do also fish, and so it would be a good place to put a little fishing kit. I may put a little tool kit on there um, for, uh, for when I'm gonna go on farther rides um, or areas that I don't necessarily know well. That way I have a little tool kit um, to, uh, to take care of me in the event that I, I get a flat or something like that. Um, I did get some, some extra uh, tubes in because of the fact that uh, I got that pinch flat when I changed out the rear tire. So um, I do have extras there and I got a flat kit. And so we're set there for when we go on longer rides or adventures. Um, right now, just really been staying close to around town. Um, I think this weekend I'm going to go up to, um, there's a state park up in Independence. And I think I'm gonna head up there this weekend and hit some of the bike trails out there now that I got my pedal kit and I won't have to worry about Karen getting me kicked out of the out of the state park, so. I like jamming through the cemetery here. There's um, some good little pretty good little bike trail actually um, to ride through some good curves and dips and, and uh, I like old cemeteries some people have an issue with cemeteries um, I guess they creep them out or something like that but for me I 
I don't have an issue with cemeteries. I've always enjoyed cemeteries. Um, I like the history behind them. I like, uh, I don't know. They just don't bother me. I enjoy them. Battery's jamming pretty good today um, with the, uh, the warmer weather. It's not so cold to where it dips down and I lose that uh, couple miles of top in so quickly. It's holding in there pretty good today. This is a bowling alley. It's actually really close to my house, which is kind of cool. I haven't actually been in there to bowl yet. Um, I'll have to do that one of these days. Maybe, maybe we'll bring you guys bowling with us one day. Um, but it's cool that it's there. That's my school bus. Um, that'll be a project coming in the future. We're gonna build a schoolie out of that. So um, in the future, we'll start bringing you guys some build content on that. Probably this summer, we'll start that build. So keep that um, in mind. And uh, yeah, I think that'll be it for today's video. We'll just get you a, um, a full shot there again of the bike with the Thule pack and pedal rack system um, again just a really easy install it just uh, just ratchet straps here to the fork you have um, a couple of different options and lengths of this um, metal brackets that you can swap out depending on your bike and how you're mounting it and uh, everything just bolts up with some allen keys and that's it guys real easy install I'm, I'm real happy with how the bikes coming coming along um, we'll get you a front view here of the bike. Um, a lot of people have asked me about my gold bars. Um, the gold bars are core Rivera bars. Really happy with them. They're three inch rise. Um, good bars so far. So yeah guys, anyways, that's it for today. Appreciate you. We'll see you on the next one.